Good morning, people of the internet. Today, I bring you a drawing of my character Nina, because I love to draw her, even though I don't actually draw her in the comic she's supposed to be in, but just weird drawings of her. So, I don't know how much I've talked about Nina and her story, so I'm thinking that I might gonna do that today because really this drawing isn't really that interesting it's just Nina sitting on a roof looking sad because logic <laughs> I just wanted to draw her as if she's the drawing is supposed to be that she's looking at her girlfriend who just realized that her that Nina is like a superhero vigilante who's done a lot of stuff and Nina's not too happy about that but anyways so the story which Nina is from is a story that I as of now call Masquerade and the reason it's called Masquerade it's because it's a superhero story and Jen in general, all the superheroes in the story wear masks. And the title really isn't that well thought out, it's just they wear masks, so it's a masquerade. And the main characters, which are Nina and her brother Will, they and their best friends, Jax and Martha, are sort of their own superhero gang who solve things and like take care of bad guys and stuff, but not in the usual way, because there is another superhero team, which is the country's official superhero team, and the characters in my story, they refuse to be part of this team, and I am i think I've already spoiled the reason for that, but I'm not gonna do it again, because <laughs> if I end up actually doing something out of this comic idea, I don't want everyone to be spoiled. Um, they're not part of that official superhero team because they don't agree with what they're doing and they know some secrets about that superhero team. And they're basically sort of on the gray line of the law. They're neither good nor bad, but they keep things in balance. So. If they found, find, like, a bad guy who doesn't really do anything bad, sort of just sits there and plots but never actually acts on it, they don't take him down. They just let them be. And if there's a superhero who's been doing some questionable stuff, they take them down. So they're sort of like... I guess, as I said, they're keeping balance between the bad guys and good guys and whatnot, and they're sort of like the outsiders, that old, I think it was an old DC comic called The Outsiders, and they sort of do things their own way. And I just, I sort of like the idea of superheroes that aren't purely good. So, yeah, now we're beginning to get to the end of the video, and... I hope you enjoyed me rambling about my story, and have a nice day. Bye!